Christian comedy, yes. Uh, what influenced you on Russian? Well, okay, if we look back at you, well, you were here yesterday, you were. Yeah. And look, we looked at the analysis on the day before, you looked at the analysis of killing the mouse. Yeah. Remember the four points? Yeah. Yeah. So let's analyze abortion. Shall we do the same thing? Let's take it as an example. So first, so let's, shall we use, shall we, first of all, the Buddhist view would call this killing because there's a living being there. From the second conception, it becomes a human being. It's a living being. It's a consciousness that's gone into the egg and sperm. So from that second, it's beginning the process of being a human being. Okay. <laughs> So we agree that an abortion is a, is a decision to stop the baby, isn't it? To kill the baby. Three things said that. So then if, let's have, analyze it. So I'll, okay, I'll use my own example. Or I'll be personal, okay? I, was, I, got, I had a baby, I, I got pregnant when I was 23. Uh, uh, and I had an abortion. Well, so I used my example. Right. Then I was 23. I was a hippie. And I was a very good hippie. <laughs> I take it, I'm supposed to be very seriously. <laughs> so hippies, you know, jump around in lots of beds. Well, I thought that was hippies did, so I did my best to be a good hippie. <laughs> and I, was, I don't want to be too personal, but I want to feel personal. <laughs> but I remember this whole scenario quite vividly. It was 1968. And I was 23. And this particular Australian boy uh, called Rob. I remember he was an architect. <laughs> and I, I remember he earned a pound an hour. <laughs> and I was very impressed then. Because I got 13 pounds a week. I remember that. I remember numbers. Right. So I was impressed that he got a whole pound an hour. Wow. Anyway, he was okay. I didn't like him that much. But I was a good hippie. <laughs> now the point is this, I found this, by the way, this is an extra piece of information, I don't want to embarrass you, but I've heard other people say the same thing. I remember the moment, and I said to myself, oh God, I'm pregnant. It was a crystal clear knowing, I didn't know the words then, I, I didn't use the word soul. You know, I'd given up God. I didn't think of reincarnation. I didn't think it was a person. The thought was, oh my God, I'm pregnant. That's it. It was the boy, okay? Was, and I remember it. With this vivid of knowing something went inside me. That was crystal clear. That's interesting. I've heard other people say it. That's what Buddhists say is when conception is. The consciousness comes from before and entered into that egg and sperm. Uh, That's when the person begins. Very clear from the Buddhist view. Okay, so then I knew that second. All I knew was I visualized the end result, a baby, and I knew I didn't want it. I didn't, think, I didn't go any further than that, you know. So I was determined, I knew I was not going to have this baby. This was thoughts in my mind. So it happened to me that in the national, the national health, in like, you know, the, the, the UK um, medical thing, the national health was allowing free, you know, was giving abortions on the national health. I remember that year it started. So having a you know, determined mind, you know, I thought, oh, great, I'll get an abortion. That's it. I didn't tell the guy. I don't remember feeling any guilt. I just didn't want the end result. A baby. I didn't agonize about it. So I had an abortion. Okay, so let's analyze. First thing, for an action to be a complete action of killing, the first has to be there's an object. It means a living being. You understand? So I sense it was a living being. So that's the first one there. The second part is my mind's involved in it. So the first one was the discrimination. This was the one I was going to abort. Not, uh, her, not her, this one. Uh, the second one was intention. Uh, I didn't say, I will kill this baby. I never said those words. Uh, I said, I will have an abortion. Now, third one, motivation. Uh, I didn't hate it. There was no anger there. There was no 
not anger or aversion. There's attachment. To get what I wanted. And not to have my life interrupted. So it was just deep, strong, clear attachment. There wasn't anger. There wasn't shame. There wasn't, there wasn't, and there wasn't any compassion. Clearly that. It was attachment. Very clearly. Attachment to get what I wanted, to have my life uninterrupted. I mean, I'm being very clear. It was that. Clearly that. Logically. So I went to the hospital. I gave him some story. He agreed I should have an abortion for my psychological state, for whatever reason. You know. I went to the hospital. Somewhat, I gave permission to someone else to do it. I didn't do it myself. Doctors and nurses and doctors sort out the fetus. And that means the baby died. Well, incidentally, they didn't cut it out properly. Something now is terrible. It's like they have a second little operation. Now, what was, now that's a complete action of killing. Now, you could, everybody in this room has killed something, I suppose. The poor thing might be there. But everybody's situation is different. Some of the motivation might have been real anger. For some, it might have been, uh, you know, killing a baby that's alive. Or a five-year-old human being. Or one might be killing a fish. Out of attachment. One might kill their husband. Out of anger. So there's so many variations aren't there, of the scenarios for each one of them. You get my point. So equally, somebody can have an abortion, you know, a month before the baby's ready to be born. Another one could have it, you know, maybe a month before, a month only in the womb. Four weeks, whether you can see a baby by then, I'm not sure. I suppose you can. But in my case, it was 12 weeks. So one of the key factors in the karma we create in harming others is how much they suffer. So I'd imagine this 12 week with fetus. Okay, so I left it there for all those years. I never thought about it again. I didn't have any guilt or shame. I've got, no, it's not true. And uh, it's uh, to uh, outside. I don't have guilt or shame. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't kind of agonise over it. Uh, but I remember in the hospital, I got very depressed. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a word I use in my life. Uh, and the nurses were very kind. And, uh, Martin's, uh, they gave me a spare room. And let me stay time. for a few days. Uh, <laughs> and they were very kind to me. And they were I remember feeling very sad or something, but I never articulated it. And, uh, it's, uh, mm -hmm. So that would be an action of killing. Uh, but obviously, if it was 20 weeks, and that, uh, you could argue, you could argue it would be hard more than when it was 12. And, uh, as, uh, days, uh, women, but a uh, three month fetus is quite developed already, isn't it? But it's so it's a few months already. Yeah, so clearly the nervous so system is working. Uh, and yeah. being dragged out by some forceps and then not being pulled out completely is a pretty horrifying way to die, isn't it? So that's negative karma. But then, as we're about to talk about, 